I'm Thomas Miller and this is the Food Bank Group. Typically, it's all full of food. Typically, the food will stack to the ceiling and it's just not here. Wow, yeah, that's definitely empty. This is uh, Kelvin. And this is Royce. This is Corey. This is Matt. This is Sterling. And this is... My name is Dave and I work at the Pine Creek Community Center. It all started with me, Keith, and a good uh, teacher named Maria Pichichiro. <laughs> um, then she, then me and me, Keith, and Maria, we started asking these fine gentlemen if mm -hmm. they wanted to be in this uh, group. Awesome. So, um, yeah. Now, uh, do you figure? Do you feel that this group is uh, uh, going to continue next year, or what's your opinion on that, Calvin? I most likely think that this group will continue next year mm -hmm. because, well, this is well, people it's a fun group. Mm -hmm. We help, we can help people out and have fun. Hi, I'm Keith Allen from Pine Tree Secondary School, and I'm from the Food Bank Fundraiser Committee. I first got into this by asking our youth worker in the school about how I can help with other things around the town, and she said the food bank was great, so I've been helping ever since. Hi, my name is Royce, and I am a member of the Pine Tree Food Bank Committee here at Pine Tree. Hi, my name is Corey, and I'm part of the Food Bank Committee Club. My name is Calvin Garcia. I'm participating in the Food Bank. And what I do is I'm trying to find some prizes for what we're doing. And what we're doing is a little fundraiser, like a, a video game tournament. Mm -hmm. And anyone can join. Mm -hmm. Just need to sign up either at the teen center. Mm -hmm. I'm here at the Share Food Bank in Port Moody, and joining me to talk about the situation is Heather Scott, Director of Development. Good morning. Good morning, Tanya. So tell me what you've noticed that's different this year, Heather. Well, what I think I'd like the viewers to see right now is where we're standing, and behind me, typically, it's all full of food. Typically, the food will stack to the ceiling, and it's just not here. What's up, Pine Tree? Um, I'm Thomas Miller, and this is Kelman Garcia, and we're members of the Food Bank Group, and we'll be telling you how we got started. Um, it all started when me and a different guy, not Calvin, uh, went to the Food Bank our very first time in probably October or September, um, and we, uh, one of the people, um, or it was Maria, said that the Food Bank used to be full and I asked, what are you talking about? It's half empty and then they said, we know, but in the fall and the winter, it's kind of hard of getting people with the food so then, and money also. So then I had an idea of doing a tournament. Our first one was a pool tournament and that one went okay. We raised about six bucks, but that was a start. Many people get lucky of getting around 100 to $200 on their first one to support groups. So. We're going to be doing more next year. I already got some ideas. Maybe a table tennis, um, maybe another video game tournament, or something else if we can start brainstorming of what we can do. I uh, got involved in volunteering at the uh, food bank uh, this year with a, a group of primarily grade 9 students who came with me in the fall. and. Uh, Thomas uh, Miller and Keith Allen were two of those students and they were really uh, affected by the fact that there was such uh, uh, a little amount of food um, in the food bank. Mm. So they decided uh, from that um, first experience volunteering that they wanted to carry this through and uh, connect with some of their friends to see what they can do uh, uh, to come up with uh, a couple different fundraisers. The original one was in the fall, and uh, that was the first time, and uh, it was uh, a pool tournament, and the last one we just had in April, uh, which was the Smash Bowl Brawl mm -hmm. tournament, which uh, went really well and was uh, very successful. I'm very pleased with uh, the efforts of all the students, and, uh, uh, and I know the people from the food bank are also really pleased with the idea that young people are interested in uh, uh, caring for others in the community who, who are at need. Thanks for hoping you will take some time out to help the less fortunate. 
more on those food banks. We're joined by our morning's reporter, Tanya Beja, who is in Port Moody, and uh, they're actually in crisis situation, Tanya. I think I'd like the viewers to see right now is where we're standing and behind me typically it's all full of food. Typically the food will stack to the ceiling and it's just not here. Vegetables, canned vegetables to help families get through the winter season. 